When people see a sleek, modern attack helicopter soaring through Chinese military parades, a common question arises, is that China's version of the American Apache? The idea is tempting. The Apache is a global icon of military power. Calling China's helicopter an Apache is a simple shortcut. It suggests copying or acquisition. That makes for a catchy headline. The myth starts with a grain of truth and lots of speculation. We will explore China's primary attack helicopter, the Z-10. Compare it to the Apache across design, engines, weapons and political barriers, separating hype from reality. To understand the comparison, we must first look at the benchmark itself, the American AH-64 Apache. This helicopter is a legend for a reason. Development began in the 1970s born from Cold War fears of Soviet tank armies. The US Army wanted a tank killer that could operate day-night in any weather, designed to be tough survivable incredibly lethal. It features a heavily armored cockpit to protect its two-person crew tandem seating, pilot in the back gunner in the front. The Apache's true power lies in its advanced systems. Nose-mounted unit, TADS, PNVS. For many years, China's military helicopter fleet was modest. It consisted mainly of transport helicopters derived from French designs, transport helicopters derived from Russian designs, along with some light utility models. The country lacked a true purpose-built attack helicopter, capable of taking on modern armored forces. Recognizing this gap, the PLA initiated a program in the 1990s. Ambition, close air support, hunt tanks, and contest helicopters. Designation WZ-10, Wuzhuang Zhishengji. Armed helicopter, led by Chang'e and the China Helicopter Research and Development Institute. The first prototype reportedly flew in 2003. From first flight to combat ready meant years of testing, redesigns, and troubleshooting. Hurdles, engines, and advanced sensors entered PLA service around 2010, public debut in 2012, a milestone for China's aviation industry. Today the Z-10 anchors PLA Army Aviation with iterative upgrades in engines armor and electronics. So, is the Z-10 a direct copy of the Apache? A close look says no, they share a configuration, but the Z-10's angular stepped fuselage versus the Apache's rounded contours shows divergence. Cockpit canopy, tail boom, rotor system, all different. A simple copy would look far closer to the original. Chinese engineers studied Apache, MI-28, and Tiger, standard aerospace practice. Kamov later confirmed conceptual assistance in the mid-1990s, Project 941, accelerating early design. But detailed engineering and production remained Chinese. Licensed Z9 production built manufacturing experience. Call it a cousin in the global family, not a clone. One of the most significant challenges in the Z10's development has been its engines. A modern attack helo is heavy, armor, weapons, and fuel. It needs powerful, reliable turbo shafts, especially in hot and high conditions. Jet engines are among the hardest technologies to master. Early Z-10s reportedly used imported engines, chiefly the Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6C-67C, capable and reliable, but foreign. As the program's military nature became clear, export controls tightened. China accelerated a domestic alternative, the WZ-9. Early versions were less powerful, impacting payload speed and ceiling. Designers likely shaved weight, even in armor, to compensate. Heavy investment paid off. Upgraded domestic engines. Rudai Sirujio, R. Bro. Raise and Bot Serid Despay, Briao Bribai, Wakem Burbiver, Revise and Vazevir. Wat Sirs a Jew, Ainbri Reverge, Dur Iber Gior. Wern Wise Yao, Derizen, Werdere. Or improved WZ9, close the gap in power and reliability. Seeing in the dark, the challenge of advanced sensors, finding, Tracking and engaging from a safe distance is what separates an attack helicopter from a flying gun. The Apache set the standard with TADS PNVS, thermal, TV, and a laser in one package. Early Z10s had simpler turrets, lower thermal resolution, and shorter laser ranges. High-performance sensors demand exotic materials, precision builds, and complex software. Over time, Z10 variants show progressively more sophisticated turrets. Some carry mast-mounted radar, like the Apache Longbow, scanning while masked by terrain. Cockpit and fire control evolve too. Helmet displays Q weapons with a turn of the head. The trend is clear. China is rapidly closing sensor and avionics gaps. Section 7. 
fangs of the dragon, arming the Z-10, an attack helicopter is only as good as its weapons. China developed a new generation of air-launched munitions, a full suite, chin cannon, unguided rockets and precision anti-tank missiles, primary anti-tank, HJ-10, Ostun bomb, often pond and soften. It stay do go one stay often compared to the Hellfire one, with laser or millimeter wave guidance to defeat modern tanks. Effective at several kilometers, typical load of eight missiles, cannon options in 23 or 30 millimeter, slave to the gunner's helmet for rapid engagements. Unguided rockets saturate areas to support ground units. For air threats, the TY-90 short-range IR missile. While US missiles and networking remain a benchmark, China's HJ-10 and TY-90 make the Z-10 a versatile, lethal platform for regional scenarios. Geopolitical guardrails. Why China couldn't just buy an Apache? The answer lies in geopolitics, national strategy, and arms control. Since 1989, the US and EU maintain an arms embargo on China. The Apache's sensitive radar, sensors, EW, and data links would never be approved for sale. The U.S. reserves top-tier systems for close allies, China is not one. The embargo pushed China towards self-reliance. The pathway included legal transfers, licensed production, intense R&D, and sometimes espionage. China needed a modern attack helicopter, couldn't buy one, so it built one. Harder and costlier, but it matured a domestic aerospace industry. In the end, the notion of a Chinese Apache is compelling but misleading. The name sticks because the Apache is iconic. But the Z-10 is neither an Apache nor a simple copy. It's a nuanced story of ambition meeting technological reality. China identified a critical weakness and spent decades fixing it. The Z-10 is the tangible result, a symbol of industrial and military rise. Geopolitical barriers forced self-reliance and focused development. The latest Apache likely leads in engines, sensor fusion and combat networking, but the gap is no longer a chasm. The Z-10 is credible, effective, and evolving. So next time you hear China's Apache, you'll know the real story. The era of simple labels is over. The era of complex reality is here.